enter the house. You will find yourself in a living room with white walls. Turn to your left. Proceed up the stairs. Up the stairs. Turn to your right and enter the bedroom. Across the room is a closet. Warning. Do not enter this closet unless you pick up the weed whacker in chapter 4. Instead, on the nightstand, you will see the glass of red wine. Drink this. When you exit the bedroom and go back down the stairs, you will notice a pool of blood on the carpet. You have just moved through a secret wormhole in the neighborhood. You are now in a house on the opposite side of the subdivision. Did you get what you were looking for? Yes, thank you for letting me in his room. Hopefully you won't find out we were in his room, unless he has some hidden camera. I don't remember a camera. I'm kidding! Although I wouldn't be surprised. He's always been into gadgets. Yeah, I don't know what he has in there. He keeps it such a big secret. But we always pledged to protect his privacy. Uh-huh. Well, this will be our little secret. Um, I should be going. But thank you again, Mrs. Pritchard. Vicky! It's still Vicky, and it's no problem. I'm glad you found what you were looking for. It's so good, so good to see you again. It's good to see you, too. We really miss you around here. Yeah, me too. My husband and I thought you were really good for him. Thanks, but I should... Do you want to sit down for a minute? Oh, I could get you a Coke or even a glass of wine. I'm having a glass of wine, only if you think your mom wouldn't mind. No, she lets me have wine sometimes. It's just I, I don't expect Tyler home anytime soon. Okay, I guess I could for a minute. Great, great. Sit down, let me get you a glass. Did you notice we reupholstered the love seat? It looks nice. Thank you. It was not cheap. No, it looks nice. I went back and forth on the material. I just couldn't decide between solids or oriental. It doesn't seem like a big decision, but it affects the whole room. These things that seem so small have such enormous consequences. There you go. Thank you. So, Caitlin, how's school? Fine. What electives are you taking? Graphic design. Really? On the computer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> they teach you such great things now. How are the grades? Still good? I guess. You know, even though we got him that hunger, Tyler's grades took a downturn when you two split up. Oh, I'm sorry. No! was upset. I mean, you were the one to break up with him. Sort of. That's what he said. We weren't hanging out much anyway. But when he wasn't on his computer, I thought he was with you. I mean, sometimes. Almost every night of the week. No. Well, where could he have been? Probably with his friends. You mean the Olsen boys? He's not really friends with them. Those are his best friends. <laughs> he 
it was strange to see his room. I haven't seen it in months. We bought that bed. He was five years old. One morning, I went in, and his feet were poking off the end. And they were hairy. I said it was time for a new bed, but that was when he sealed off the room. And like I said, I want to give him a place of his own to be himself. Isn't that good? I'm not the kind of parent to read her son's diary. If boys are cute diaries, maybe he has a, what is it called? A blog? <clears throat> Even if it was online, I wouldn't read it. Not that I'm too savvy <laughs> with the internet. He's playing that game now that takes up all his time when he's not out with his friends or whoever he goes out with. I'm just trying to. Something's different. Do you think? Do you think it's drugs? Maybe that's part of it. He has those red eyes. But that's just marijuana, right? <laughs> Not like that kind of red. You mean something harder? Something like it was on Dateline. Oxycontin. Maybe not even drugs. He has great imagination. He gets into trouble with the Neighborhood Association. But so would a saint. I mean, who cares about the stupid golf course? It was strange to see those posters on his walls. But all the boys have posters like that with skeletons and zombies and blood. Right? I think you should go through his room. What do you think I might find? Do you remember that cat? What cat? The Hendersons. Cat. Wasn't it hit by a car? You didn't hear how they found it? How did they find it? It was still alive, even though... Stop! I don't know what this has to do with my son. We give him everything he needs. This wine is too sweet. It's making me sick. I suppose I do need to let you get home. Thank you for stopping by. Say hello to your mother for me. I see her in the grocery store all the time, and we keep making plans to get together, but we just can't seem to get together. You only live a few blocks over, so I don't know what it is, but tell her I really will call her, and we really will get together. Okay, thanks for the why and letting me in. Of course, of course, and come back if you need anything else. What was it that you needed? Sorry? From his room? Just something of mine that you took. Something like what? It's private. Oh, I mean, no, that's okay. Of course I respect that. Did you know this house is the mere opposite of mine? If you divide the neighborhood along the line of the sewage ditch and fold it in half, my room would be right on top of his room. 
That's how we'd see each other. Through the ceiling, which is kind of how we got together. When I needed to escape my mom, I could lie in bed and look through the ceiling, down at him in his bed, looking up through the ceiling. And we just sort of knew each other. He started playing that game. It uploads floor plans from the Neighborhood Association. He showed me a map of the subdivision and the wormhole between our rooms. There are wormholes all over the neighborhood. He said one of them connects your imagination in the game to what happens in life, for real. It's not just the cat. Vicky, I think you should go through his room. His father's a real estate agent. I quit my job to be home for him. If you don't look at something, it can kind of blow up. Don't you want to know it's in his- no! 